Hello, hello, hello! OMG, welcome back to my channel. So excited that you are here. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. I appreciate you. It's Joni Dunn and it's Monday, so I'm coming at you with my CVS haul. I know a lot of you probably already went out yesterday to get the awesome degree deal. Uh, I'm like so stocked up on degree from doing it last week at CVS when it was an awesome deal. And then those awesome I bought a rebate showed up. And then we got deals at Walgreens with the awesome I bought a rebates. And I want to tell you something real quick about the I bought a rebates. Uh, if you're new and you just found the channel, I'm so happy that you are here. Would you please let me know that you are new and say hello to me right down there so I can welcome you and say hello back to you. And if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back to another video. I truly appreciate you. Um, let me know if you got all your CVS shopping done or if you're still going. The big guy, he's on the right side of the couch, so you get to stare at him the whole time. I think you can see him. Yeah, I think so. Um, if you do not see the degree rebates, I'm gonna show you how to look for them because I went this morning, first thing, last, well, this morning when I checked, uh, the stick deodorant rebate was totally gone and the spray deodorant was expiring in 13 hours. I knew they were gonna go super duper quick. By the time I got to the store, all of the rebates were gone, but I still went ahead and did my deal and scanned my receipt and I still got credit for them. So I'm gonna show you at the debrief how to check and make sure. They're probably for sure gonna be gone today, but if you are planning on doing your shopping today, you still have a chance at getting those rebates if you're working on your bonus or if you just like that deodorant and you wanna get it for a super duper great price. I had a very funky transaction that I wanna go over with you and a couple of other cool things about CVS that you may not be aware of. So if you enjoy the video, Make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much. Let's run into CVS and grab some awesome deals. All right, we are in the CVS and I actually wasn't gonna start at the red box. I went right for the degree. The Ibotta rebates are gone, but I'm printing out my coupons. I'm gonna go ahead and still do my transaction because sometimes even when you can't see the rebates, they're still on your list. And so I'm just gonna go forth. It's still a great transaction, even without the Ibotta rebates. So here we go with the degree. It is this week part of the spend 30, earn a $10 extra buck, or spend 45, earn a $15 extra buck. And as I told you last week, this promotion, these tiered promotions, the number one, they don't follow the 98% rule. So you have to hit either 30 or 45 at least. And number two, they don't track. So if you spend $29.99 and then you go buy one more thing in your next transaction, you're not going to get your extra bucks. You've got to do it all in one transaction. So I'm going to go for the degree. I'm going to go for the dry spray and the stick deodorant, which is priced at $7.29 in my store. Buy one, get one half price. So I'm going to grab two of these women. I'm going to go ahead and grab two of the men's that are buy one, get one half price, the spray deodorant, same $7.29. And hopefully Ibotta will pick up the $1.75 rebate back on the men's and the $1.75 rebate back on the women's. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add two of these stick deodorants, which are priced at $6.29 in my store. Buy one, get one half price. So six of these deodorants is gonna cost me $31.30. Well, that's what it's gonna to total me. And of course, you know I'm looking for some double dip action for this deal. I also had Ibotta rebates for $1.50 back on the stick deodorant that I'm hoping when I scan my receipt, Ibotta will pick those up as well if they are still on my list, even though I can't see them. All right, so I'm gonna be using some paper coupons on this. This transaction actually was a big fat mess. I will explain what happened at the kitchen table, but I did it very specifically scanning order at the cashier. But I'm gonna use these $4 off two of these spray deodorants that just came out in our Unilever inserts. I also have this $3 off two printable for the stick deodorants. And then I have this $6 off when I spend 30 that includes deodorant products. 
Plus, I have a $3 digital off the women's that will most likely glitch and come off, a $3 digital off the men's, and I'm also hoping for a $1 off of one for the stick deodorant to come off. And I'm going to be doing the spend 45, earn back a $15 extra buck in this transaction. So what I'm going to go ahead and add to this transaction is some pull-ups because we also have um, Ibotta rebates and I have a fetch rewards bonus. Check your fetch accounts. We all can get different bonuses. I'm going to go for this 3T, 4T pack because when I scan it on Ibotta, it's pulling up a $2 rebate. The rest of them are pulling out a $1 rebate. And I also have a $3 digital coupon on the CVS app. And then I have 2,000 points back just one time when I buy any Huggies pull-ups on Fetch Rewards. All right, the last thing to complete this deal, uh, I stocked up last week because it was part of the deal and it's part of the deal again this week on the General Mills cereal. Select ones are on sale for $1.99 and part of the spend 30 earn 10 or the spend 45 earn 15. And unlike last week when I didn't have any coupons, this week I have coupons. So we just got insert coupons uh, this Sunday for $1 off of two. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that. And then on the CVS app, I also have a $1 off of two that will glitch and come off. So for my spend 45 earn 15, I have a total of $45.27. After all my coupons and CRTs, it's gonna bring me down to $16.27. I'll earn back a $15 extra buck, $2 from Fetch Rewards for the pull-ups, and a $2 Ibotta rebate for the pull-ups. That would make this a $2.72 moneymaker, which is an awesome deal. If I get the Ibotta rebates for all of the degree deodorant, it'll make it a 1222 moneymaker. So I'm gonna go check out with this deal and scan my receipt into Fetch right in the store. No, scan my receipt to Ibotta right in the store. Oh my gosh, it worked. Fetch, not Fetch, oh my gosh, why do I keep saying that? Ibotta picked up all the rebates, I'm so excited. All right, we're gonna move on and we are going to do the You Buy Kotex deal, which is on promotion for Spend 15, earn back a $5 extra buck and they are buy one, get one half price. So these are $6.99. I am going for the overnight pads because I have a fetch rewards bonus for $2 back, 2,000 points, um, up to two times. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab two packages of the overnight pads and trying to film with one hand and hold the camera, I can't do it. <laughs> so I grabbed two of those, then I'm gonna grab a one of these. So these three are gonna total me $17.47. We just got insert coupons for $1 off, but my store does accept expired coupons, which I totally forgot to show you. So I'm gonna use three of the $2 coupons and um, I have a CRT for $5 off when I spend 15 on you by Kotex. So that'll bring me down to 647. I'll earn back a $5 extra buck and $4 from Fetch, makes them a 252 moneymaker. I wanted to grab the Cottonelle, which is on promotion for spend 20, earn back a $5 extra buck, but I need two, so I'm gonna have to check and see if they have any in the back. All right, we're gonna do a nice little moneymaker on some Chic disposable razors. Uh, the, they are on promotion for spend 15, earn back a $5 extra buck. So I'm going to go ahead and they're on sale for $5.99 each this week. So I'm going to go ahead and grab two of the women's, um, skin to mitt razors for $5.99 each. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab one of the men's because I have some CRTs for the women's and some for the men's and the men's are on sale for $5.99 each as well. So these three razors are gonna total me $17.97. Because these are on sale for $5.99, um, all my CRTs are gonna lower themselves down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and use one printable coupon that I just printed on Sunday through my Swagbucks link, right, took me right over to coupons.com for $4 off. 
and then two um, of the insert coupons for $4 off. Now I have this Schick disposable CRT for $4 off. That's only gonna take off $1.99. And then I have this $4 off two Skintimate that will take off $3.98. It will just make these three razors totally free, so I'll pay nothing at the register for these. And then I will earn back a $5 extra buck, making them a $5 money maker. All right, Revlon and Almay are both on promotion this week for if you spend $25, you earn back a $10 extra buck. And I think it's a limit of six. My area does not get Revlon coupons. I did order some, but I don't have them yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the Almay deal because we got printable coupons and digital coupons. So I'm gonna grab the makeup wipes, which are priced at $6.59 in my store. One will be half priced for the deal. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab two of these little eyeshadows, which are priced at $7.99 in my store. I've actually used these Almay eyeshadows and I like them. Um, so one will be $7.99 and one will be half priced. So if you're wondering why my makeup removers would not be half price versus the eyeshadow, stick around to the debrief. There is a specific scanning order you have to do. All right, again, I went through my Swagbucks link and printed coupons so I get paid to print and paid to redeem. So I have a $3 off of the eye. I have a $3 off when I buy two Almay makeup wipes. And I have this instant coupon from last week for $5 off 25 Maybelline. That's attaching to all cosmetic products. Plus I have a $3 digital coupon on the app for the other eye product. And I have a $3 off two on the makeup wipes that will glitch and come off. That'll bring me down to $11.45 and I'll earn back a $10 extra buck. Plus all of this tracks towards beauty and I spent over, I spent close to $30 and I was already tracking. So it's gonna make it a little money maker. All right, you know we do the Hallmark deal often. We're doing it again this week cause I got CRTs plus it's on promotion. It's on promotion for buy any three. Earn back, I think it's buy any three, or is it buy any two? Uh, you earn back a $3 extra buck. So we already know our Hallmark CRT is attached to all Hallmark items. These ribbons are $2.99. I wasn't gonna grab them, but I decided to because they're so pretty. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab three of the bows that are priced at $1.29 each. And because of my CRT, I'm gonna have to grab some of the little baggies as well. So I got a CRT last week and a CRT this week for $4 off when I purchase any eight Hallmark items. So I only have to purchase eight for both of those CRTs to come off. So these eight items are gonna total be $8.82. My CRTs will take off $8. I'll pay 82 cents and earn back a $3 extra buck, making them free plus a $2.18 moneymaker. And I'm so happy they had one more of these Cottonelle packs in the back, so they grabbed it for me. So I'm gonna grab these, they're $10.49 each, and they are on promotion for spend 20, earn back a $5 extra buck. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a couple of insert coupons off of these for $1 off each one. I have a 75 cent Ibotta rebate for this, and I'm gonna be mixing this with a transaction to use this eight off of 40. I also have a bonus on Fetch for 750 points back twice on the Cottonelle, so I'll also get back $1.50 from Fetch for the Cottonelle. All right, the Stay Free Carefree OB, it's back on promotion again this week. Buy one, get one half off and purchase um, $12, you earn back a $3 extra buck. My store didn't have any more of the $7.99 pads. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one, which is $8.29, and then this one, which is $9.99. So these two are gonna total me $14.13. I have a $3 digital coupon on the app for when I purchase two. Plus I have an awesome CRT that I got last week that I haven't used for $6 off of two stay free pads. And remember I'm mixing this in with my $8 off of 40 generic purchase. And I need just a little bit more to get me over the $40 mark. So I'm gonna go ahead and go for the soft soap, Irish Spring Body Wash and soft soap is on promotion this week for on sale for $3.99. And when you purchase two, you earn back a $3 extra buck. So I'm gonna grab these two soft soap. I have a $1 digital coupon on the app for just one of them. I didn't even check soft soap to see if there were printable coupons available. But for the um, buying two of them, I also have this CRT for $2 off of two. 
So I am now at a total of $43.09. After my coupons and my CRT and that awesome $8 off of 40, it's gonna bring me down to $21.09. I'll earn back $5 for the Cottonelle, $3 for the Stay Free, and $3 for the Soft Soap, plus 75 cent rebate on Ibotta and $1.50 on Fetch. That would bring my cost down to $7.84 for these two Cottonelle, the two Stay Free, and the Soft Soap. But I had so many money makers that they're all just gonna be for free. My cart is overflowing and jam packed. Let's get to the kitchen table and go over these transactions. All right, here we are back at the kitchen table. Oh, this haul is awesome. It gave me a couple little hiccups, so I'm not gonna lie. Oh my gosh. All right, so what I grabbed here was $161.06 worth of product and it was a huge money maker thanks to those Ibotta rebates coming through. When If you don't see a rebate on your app, you can always check the list feature. I'll try to pop a screenshot up of what it looks like. I couldn't actually access it on my iPad because I was doing this on my husband's Ibotta. Um, so I just was crossing my fingers and hoping that even though I didn't see those rebates, when I left the house, it said they expired in 13 hours for the dry spray. There was no rebate for the stick spray. Um, but I went ahead, because even without the Ibotta rebates, it still would have been a great deal. But so let me tell you what I did and let me show you what happened. Uh, so what I did was when I got to the register, I just did my spend 45, earned 15 in one transaction. And I handed the cashier two of the dry sprays and had her scan the $4 coupon. Then handed her two more of the dry sprays, had her scan the $4 coupon. Then had her scan two of the stick sprays and had her scan the $3 coupon. Not a bad idea when you have so many Unilever products in one transaction or so many PNG products because coupons can attach funky. There's Gus for any of y'all that like to see Gus. He just walked by, he just finished eating his lunch. Um, and they're very familiar with me so they don't have a problem doing that at all all the coupons scan perfectly fine then i had her scan my pull-ups and my cereal and the system ran through and my crts and my extra bucks the system ran through and it said uh four dollar coupon removed no items now found and i was like what in the world so we ended up voiding the transaction, redoing it again. This time I scanned the two stick deodorants and had her scan the $3 coupon and went through, went through everything again. And the same dang thing happened again. Hang on, I gotta let Gus out. So once she hit total, it kicked off one of my $4 coupons. So she went to another register and just printed me out a $4 extra buck. But then it was trying to kick off my six off 30 and she was like pressing all kinds of buttons and like the system came up with this error and it said like coupon fraud alert and I was like oh my gosh this is a nightmare. So let me show you the receipt and it looks really funky but I'll tell you what like actually what happened. All right so there's my Huggies. There's my General Mills cereal for $1.99 each, and then there's all of my deodorant. Now, whenever you are working with a buy one, get one half price, you have to scan the item that you want to be half price together with the item that's full price. So that was another reason why I scanned these two spray deodorants versus scanning them in any type of order because you might think that these are the lower price and so both of these would be half price, no. You can see I scanned two of the spray deodorants, one rang up full price, one rang up half price. Scanned two of the spray deodorants, one rang up full price, one rang up half price. Then scanned my stick deodorants, one rang up full price, one rang up half price. You see my $3 printable coupon off of two degree, my $4 insert coupon off of two of the degree sprays, and then my other $4 off one. But this one actually did get kicked off, even though my receipt still shows it. So my total for all of these products was $45.26. So my degree coupon glitched and came off. My other degree coupon glitched and came off. My $3 off the pull-ups came off. 
Then my $1 glitched and came off. My $1 General Mills cereal glitched and came off. And then my dang $1.25 also glitched and came off because it somehow kicked off my $4 coupon. So I gave her a $15 extra buck to pay for this. And then you can see my six off 30 off the shave needs or deodorant. That was like a generic CRT that encompassed a lot of things. Then she printed me out a $4 extra buck. So my subtotal ended up being one cent. If you add up all of these coupons here, they total $49.25. But if you add up all of these products here, they total me $45.26. You can see my subtotal is not negative. So even though this $4 still shows, it did not come off, which is why she printed me the $4 extra buck. Oh my gosh, this transaction was crazy. So my $15 extra buck printed, then I sat right on the floor and I scanned my receipt to Ibotta and it picked up all of the rebates, even the stick deodorant. So this transaction ended up being awesome. Now it did only actually give me $1 for the pull-ups though, even though it was pulling up only the $2 rebate, not even the $1 rebate. So I also had a, maybe a 25 cent any receipt scan, I think. I ended up earning just over $11 from Ibotta for this transaction. So that made this haul so amazing, which is why I ended up grabbing the cut now because of all the money I made on this. So normally if you scan the coupon right after the product, it will work just fine. But for some reason, I guess because of the digitals, it was kicking off that $4 coupon. All right, so then I went ahead and I did the Chic um, razors. I did the You Buy Kotex and the Almay and the Hallmark in my next deal. So there's all my Chic razors at $5.99 each. My You Buy Kotex at buy one, get one half price. My Almay at buy one, get one half price. Again, had the cashier scan the eyeshadow and the eyeshadow together. So this one would bring up as the half price. And then had her scan the makeup remover wipes. So one of them would bring up at half price. And then there's all my Hallmark items. Uh, used all those coupons that I showed you in the store. What did not come off my $3 off the makeup removers came off, but what did not come off was my $3 off the eye. And here's why, because I'm quite certain my $3 off two printable coupon off the makeup remover wipes attached to the eye product. When you're dealing with like manufacturers, that's how it goes. If you don't have a cosmetic CRT and you want to do the Almay deal, I would recommend separating the transactions so that the $3 iDigital actually does come off. So I didn't actually get a glitch here, even though that came off. The only reason, well, not the only reason, but my $3 iDigital did not come off. My 5 off 15 U by Kotex CRT, and there's all my $2 that I forgot to show you in the store off the U by Kotex. Um, my five off 25 Maybelline, that instant CRT from last week attaches to all cosmetics. There's my $4 off two Skintimate that lowered itself down to $3.98 because that was all the value that was left after my $4 paper coupons. And then there's my $4 Chic CRT that lowered itself down to $1.99 because that was all the value that was left. Now, when the CRTs are lowering themselves down, the cashier does have to hit apply. They manually have to apply it. So if they don't apply it, then it won't come off. And then there's both of my $4 off eight Hallmark CRTs. I handed over $25 in extra bucks to pay, two tens, a three, and a two. Because you know what I did? Oh my gosh. When I was adding my transaction up, I was so excited about the Ibotta rebates working. I counted that I needed to pay for my hallmark of $8.82 instead of counting that I only needed to pay $0.82 cents because I had $8 in CRTs. So with that $3 digital not coming off and me handing over too many extra bucks, it, it kicked one of them out and lowered. This was a $3 that got lowered, so I lost $1.26. Dang it. My subtotal was zero, but she did give me back my $2 extra buck. Uh, I earned back $10 for the Revlon Almay deal for spending $25, $5 for the Chic Disposable Razors, $3 for the Hallmark deal, 
and $5 for spending 15 on the U by Kotex. All right, and then I did my last transaction because they had that second Cottonelle. So I grabbed the two Cottonelle, the Soft Soap Body Wash on sale for $3.99 each, and the Stay Free. So there is my two $1 coupons off the Cottonelle. That's all the paper coupons I used. Uh, my $3 off the Stay Free, my $1 off the Soft Soap or Irish Spring, my eight off 40, my six off two, and my two off two. And I went ahead and used $20 in extra bucks to pay for this. Had a subtotal of 109. I used a Fetch Rewards gift card to pay for the rest of that and my tax. Earned back $3 for spending 12 on the Stay Free, $3 for the Soft Soap, and $5 for the Cottonelle. So let's talk about final numbers. So I grabbed $161 worth of product here. I used $58 in extra bucks to pay for it, plus had subtotals of $1.10. So it cost me $59.10 for this transaction. Uh, I just showed you $49 in extra bucks that I earned. Plus, all I spent in beauty today was my Alme, which was $28.45. But I was already tracking, as we always are. I only needed to spend $13 more. So I will earn back a $3 beauty buck within 48 hours. So I earned back $52 in extra bucks. And this cost us $59.10. Got back... $12.10 from Ibotta between all of my degree, the pull-ups, and the Cottonelle. And then submitted to Fetch Rewards and ended up earning back $8.60 from Fetch Rewards. So between Ibotta and Fetch, I earned back $20.70 plus my $52 in extra bucks. I earned $72.70 for this haul. That cost $59.10. So it makes everything that you see here on this table free, plus a $13.60 money maker. So, so happy about this haul. <sighs> if you don't see the degree rebates, check the list feature on Ibotta and see if they are still there. I'm sure the stick ones are already gone, but the spray ones may still be there. So, all right, that's what I got for you today. I'm sure a bunch of you already ran out yesterday. I just don't go to CVS on Sunday and grab the awesome degree deal. But let me know what deals you snagged from CVS this week. And that's what I got for you today. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you and I'll see you again soon.